In each of the last two seasons, the winner of the regular season series between the Colorado Summit and Salt Lake Shred has gone on to capture the West Division crown. And here we are in 2024, the first meeting between the Colorado Summit and the Salt Lake Shred, and a chance for the Summit to avenge the first loss that they had on home soil back in June of 2023. Welcome inside Marv K Stadium in Golden, Colorado. Ian Toner alongside Chuck Kindred. Thank you so much for spending your Saturday evening with us Chuck. as Alex Atkins swings to Matty Jackson. He's slotting in for Jonathan Nethercutt, who's absent tonight. He's got Team USA responsibilities, and Noah Kuhlman misses his first underneath, and there's a break chance on the first point for Salt Lake. Yeah, threw a little behind Tatum there. Dastrup in the red zone now, throwing down the line. That was a tight one. Matt Russnagel, the former Nashville Nightwatch standout, has the opening break for Salt. O-line is going to have to be prepared for a Salt Lake D-line offense that loves to counterattack. And Noah Coleman goes horizontal to get the disc back for the Summit O-line. Coleman to the end zone. Tatum clap catches it. That's not how they drew it up, but Kuhlman, that's what you want to see from your leaders is get it back. You know, maybe we're not, maybe we're not quite in sync on offense. It's a little bit of a new line, and they're showing, they're showing. Deep shot going up to Jordan Kerr. Kerr bodying against Frude, and Frude wins that one. Cochran looking for Marshall, contested grab. Bounces it back off the line to Hodling. Hodling sending it. This one's hanging. Matthew Jarvis is there. Jarvis rips it down. Colorado has this game back on serve. You know, just a feature player on offense on some of the top teams in the league, and I like bringing a vet like him over to the O-line. Sembrin tries to make the grab, but... Carlo DePena rules that his contact point was out of bounds. Salt Lake picks up right away. Kyle Weinberg finds Gene LaRue. Denny Beaches grinding for that under. I love that from Tatum. That shot was there, but he missed a couple, decided to put it in the holster. Coolman sending Atkins right in the bread basket. It's impressive stuff from Coolman. And you know, I, I talked to TK, to Coach Cafalis, I said, you need those guys, you know, iron sharpens iron. Big deep shot from Kuhlman, throw goes up. Here's Tabor looking for Kuhlman. Goodness gracious, that was pretty. Back to Miller. Over to Selfridge, haven't called his name much, but there's the hammer on the money to Jace Dunabile. And that's the throw AG wants there. You know, I mean, he's, he's kind of daring them to make that throw. Or what was that? that was a couple years ago at the end of the quarter he threw behind the back for the goal. Oh, my goodness. Never know when you're going to need that one. Who can forget that? Alex Atkins stepping into a backhand. This will get to the end zone. Crowd forming underneath. Noah Coleman goes up above everyone and rips it down with authority. Noah Kuhlman, the big show today, makes some of the most ridiculous plays in the fourth quarter. Colorado's matchup defense not conceding much yardage here. And I mean, A.G. just baiting this throw. Throw goes up to Selfridge. A.G., not sure. I'm not sure why he thought that was not reachable, but Selfridge more than happy to cash that in. Disc in Kuhlman's hands now. Sending it cross field. Connor Tabor is there. And it's ripped down by Ben Ashton, who kind of stares Tabor down for a second. That was Matt Russnoggle's first turnover since June 9th, 2018. Here's Selfridge shooting to the end zone for Russnoggle. I beg your pardon, it was not Selfridge, but Saeed Semrin. Sending to the front cone. What a grab there from Alex Tatum. Going horizontal to bring that one in. Yeah, and you got to be happy with that if you're Colorado. Getting out of that point with. Yeah, Atkins a little off. His decision making is just a little off. Mistimed that catch, a couple throwaways. 
just needs to tighten the screws a little bit. Surprised that Bryce Merrill has not chosen to call any timeouts yet as Connor Tabor oh. sells. Semrin in the red zone, pumps once, sends Jackson, continues to Beaches. That's more like it. Calvin Stoughton, I, I don't know where they're going to deploy him, but just getting these guys, players of those caliber on the roster, what a privilege. Deep shot to Selfridge. AG bodying. Selfridge doesn't care. And he's driving the bus once again. Yeah, and Selfridge, he's an interesting guy. He's got this kind of low center of gravity and really strong legs, and you saw it there. He was able to go hip to hip with AG. What a block there from Ben Ashton. How many more is he going to notch tonight? An easy pickup and dish. And the finish to Simon. Slip out of sorts. Yeah, it's kind of a gut check moment. Tatum shooting deep for Atkins. Defended by Tony Monga. And he puts his fingers up. That's too Although we've already seen that Selfridge can close out even if you do float it. Atkins I mean, missing Beaches on a swing. You got to save Atkins from himself here. I mean, let him, let him take a seat. Salt Lake fast breaking once again. This one's going to the end zone. Johnny Hoffman has that one. Salt Lake extending its lead to 11-7 with 2-18. Nice swing there to Tatum. Low clap catch. Here comes the deep shot to Kuhlman. Didn't score in the second quarter, but it's a different story in the third. He initially came down with the disc. And but then dropped it after contact with both the defenders. Coleman looking for Atkins, pumps, and then hits Saeed Semrin. Those two are such good buddies, and you can see the chemistry they have on the field. Jorgensen to Canole to Jacob Miller. Marshall chasing Kerr, but he slings one to Elijah Jaime. The disc falls to the turf. There's the first turnover of the second half for the Colorado Summit. Here's Johnny Hoffman turning on the Jets. Can Hoffman get there? Yes, sir! Yeah, and we saw it in Oakland, and we're seeing it here tonight. These guys can hit the deep shot, and they're definitely going to take the deep shot. You know, Salt Lake has opened up. Tabor in the red zone, down the line to Jackson. Joe Merrill lays out. I'm not sure if he got his hand on it, but there's no question that his pressure was present. Back to Chad Jorgensen. Unbelievable around from Ben Ashton to Matt Rusnagel. Kenny doing what he does, just making every catch. I mean, the disc in the right direction. That's the open. space where he makes his money as he continues to the front of the end zone. What a grab there by Alex Tatum, almost a carbon copy of that goal that he scored early. So using their size, making it hard for them to attack deep from the middle here. And shot over the top. There's Ferris. Here's Ferris. Sending it. Marshall. Bodying out, oh my goodness, the better read there from Jacob Miller. Will that missed opportunity be one that Colorado comes to rue at the end of this game? Down the line to Jaime, he's open. You do love it. Love it, yeah. You know, I mean, like if you're not... Deep shot going up to Jaime, he's got separation. That's been the story all night long, folks. Just sets his cuts up well and has got a nose for the end zone. Jaime, just one of the one of the absolute heroes. Back to Atkins. Cross field shot, Kuhlman. Did he hop in, Jeannie Kwan? Oh, Continuation throw to Matt Rusnagel, and he is in, I mean, this group has just erased any doubt about its superiority, at least at this stage of the season. And Colorado 
suffers its first loss of 2014. I think you're 2024. Salt Lake becomes the first team in the league to improve to 5-0. Oh. 